What is up guys, Coldflame115 here, and today I'll be giving out two free copies of Ghost Recon Wildlands today. Yes, two copies, one, one especially or specifically for PC players. Yes, I'm looking out for you PC players out there, and one for Xbox One and PS4 players. So console, console players too, so one, one for PC players and the second one for console players. So stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll tell you guys how to enter the giveaway. I am not a liar. I have killed thousands. I have fed more drug fiends than the top three pharmaceutical companies combined. I have stolen children from parents, wives from husbands, wiped out entire generations. But lying, that I have never done. The rest are offenses against humanity. Lying is an offense against yourself. I am the head of the Santa Blanca organization, which you call a cartel. I had a dream. I dreamed of a land where we could grow our own coca, produce our own cocaine, where we could run our business free from interference from the police, the government, the army, the Yankees. In my dream, a woman's voice asked me, Sueño, mijo, what if you had your own country? Like Moses, I led my people to the promised land, Olivia. We came here, we bought the coca fields. What we couldn't buy, we took. We bought the police, the military, the judges, the politicians. We were on the verge of becoming the government itself on the razor's edge from fulfilling my dream. Of creating a narco state. The nation of Santa Blanca. Last week, a crude explosive detonated outside the U.S. Embassy in La Paz, Bolivia. Two Marine Embassy guards were injured in the blast. Two days later, a CIA asset in central Bolivia provided us with these images. Our analysts have identified the individual in the photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval, my friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine industry. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. Our target, the group responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of Special Agent Sandoval, is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca Cartel. Yesterday, they were just narcos. Today, they're narco-terrorists. Initially, the Bolivian government resisted the Mexican cartel. They formed UNIDAD, a Bolivian special forces unit. It didn't go as planned. Thousands of bodies later, politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered species. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. With no other options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. You stop killing our people, we'll look the other way. Since then, Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. With their friends in Mexico, they also have a clear pipeline to the US and Canada. The only way to stop Santa Blanca for good is to completely dismantle them, piece by piece. The cartel is organized into four operations. Production, smuggling, security, and influence. At the top of it all is El Jefe de los Jefes, Boss of bosses, El Sueño.
All right, guys. So, right after that cutscene, so we gotta, we can change our gender, which is pretty nice. So either female, we can change it to female. Holy sh, shisa. Well, f let's do it as a female, shall we? I mean, a male. <laughs> All right, face Murphy, Kelly. Let's pick a handsome guy, shall we? <laughs> Anybody that looks handsome? Beetle. Oh, oh, these Asians. We got Asians here too. I kind of like Keller. Keller. Keller's pretty nice. What's this? Eye color. Let's put it to blue. I love blue eyes. Freaking the Aryan race here. Let's beard. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's have no beard. Oh, Mohawk. Gonna be like Far Cry 4 here. I mean, Far Cry 3 here. Shaggy. Is there more? Huh. Let's go with the Shaggy look. Uh. Yeah, screw it. Let's go with the shaggy look. Ah, uh, there were... Let's go with this one. Um, let's go with this one. Screw it. Hair color, brown, blonde. Let's go with brown, shall we? Facial detail, slash. Let's go with none. Appearance, body details, Tattoos, nah. Clothes. Let's see. Polo shirts. Oh, this is pretty nice. Jacket. You know what, let's just go back to, let's use business casual, no. We're gonna kill people, not not business casual. I like, I kinda like this one. Let's go with all black, I kinda like all black. All black mercenary. Let's go all black, shall we? Vest. Hmm. God, there's so many customizations. That's pretty nice. Let's go with this one. All black. Oh, this is nice. Let's use this one. Pants. Or you can use a ghillie suit. Pants. Let's just go with this one, but all black. I kind of like the all black look. I like this one. Oops, pants, footwear, combat boots. Let's go with combat boots. Nah, let's go all black look. Well, I can be a ghillie. I can use the ghillie suit here. But nah, let's not do it. Accessories, eyewear. A patch. Eh, I'll just use this one. Face wear. Ooh. 
Ooh, I kind of like this one. Let's go with this one. Baseball cap. Backwards. A Spartan helmet, which is pretty nice. Eh, let's go with this one. I kind of like it. Ear pieced. Man, they give you a lot of preferences. This is pretty nice. I'll go over this one. Wow, they give you a lot of freaking. Let's go with this one. Straps. Wow, that's nice. Let's just use this one. All black look. Nice. Patches, animals. Let's go with the miracle look. Miracle. Special outfits. Oh, oh, I almost up. Oh, I just fucked up. Oh, never mind. No, I didn't. Body details. Nope, never mind. Alright, let's go back. Alright, so this is my character here. Seems pretty nice. Alright, let's do it. Let's start and let's go with the campaign now. Let's go with arcade because I'm a bitch. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> let's go to regular. I don't want to be a bitch, so let's do this. And loading screen. Isn't that nice? Let's hope Ghost Recon Wildlands turns out to be good as expected. They keep hyping up this game like crazy. It's open world. You can play with friends. I don't have any friends, so I can't play with anybody. <laughs> uh. Oh my god, the loading time. 41%, are you kidding me? It's gonna be like Assassin's Creed Unity again, I swear to god. Job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. Guess you've been down here a while? I've been living as Karen Bowman, international aid worker for just about five years. Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? Flew in business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Huey, Argentina and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. I've heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Nah, it must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. Huh, you should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. I'm 
sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize, how you desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. He's got a religious street that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, and JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contention of locals. The Qatar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pak Qatari, as soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. Soldiers. This is the help you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died, so you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pakatari. Leader of the resistance group Qataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There is no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Qataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he is in this province and that there is a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaru is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions. Time to earn your pay, people. Put on your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this op, Nomad? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amaru. Alright guys, if you're wondering how you can enter the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment down below whether you're a PC player or console player. If you're a console player, please type in either PS4 or Xbox One. So, get, so two copies guys, one copy especially for PC players only and one copy for console players. So alright, catch you guys next time. Peace out.